think the reason that there are that mental health access is so low for everyone, especially in communities of color, um, is for a, a range of reasons, right? So you have higher rates of, of uninsured individuals in communities of color. You also have um, folks who can't necessarily take a day off because they can't afford to miss a day or don't have the child care to make an appointment. But I really think the, the biggest issue um, that gets in the way of, of for people of color who wanna access mental health is a lack of cultural competency. And what cultural competency means is that you have a provider who understands your experience and is kind of able to communicate with you in a way that is respectful and helps you understand why medical decisions are being made. And so the reason that cultural competency is so important is that you have, we have a history of, st of structural racism in this country and that has also fed into the healthcare system such that people don't trust their provider necessarily or what their provider is saying if that person doesn't look like them or understand their experience. Um, I think also there's a there's stigma in, in communities of color. Um, the mental health care is it's not something common that people do or, or seek care for. So just kind of uh, overcoming that barrier is really important as well. And I think the third thing is sometimes there's a language access problem. So I know that in Latino communities, if you go to a provider and that provider doesn't speak Spanish, already there, there's a level of mistrust um, and, a, and a level of not understanding um, and not me being able to um, express something as, as intimate as mental health care. So I think those are really some of the biggest, biggest barriers that we need to overcome.